Hello and welcome to Taste, the culinary magazine of Euronews. Today we are in Ine, on the Sea of Japan, near Kyoto, to discover the benefits of the sea and how they fit perfectly with an iconic and subtle drink, sake. In Japan, we're never very far from the sea, which provides a constant humidity, favorable to the cultivation of rice. Approaching Kyoto, there are rice fields as far as the eye can see. Of course, one grows rice for food, but also rice especially for sake, the Yamada Nishiki. But it's the water, which makes up 80% of the sake, that gives it the final quality. Shinto shrines celebrate the miracle of nature. Here in Kyoto's Fushimi district, the Gokusui Spring is known to be one of the purest in Japan. The links between Shintoism and sake are ancient, a drink of the gods, synonymous with health and long life. The water flows here from the depths, with springs freely available to local residents. Sake factories have naturally been here for centuries to harvest the best water. Gekeikan is one of Fushimi's most celebrated breweries, with 370 years of experience. We're greeted by the brewmaster, or Toji, who oversees all stages of sake production. In the water here, minerals such as calcium and magnesium are in perfect balance. These minerals have a big role in the work of added koji, yeast. This gives sake its distinctive characteristic. The rice is cooked, washed, spread, seeded with koji, an enzyme that changes the starch into sugar, then the sugars into alcohol. Sake is a fermented drink, such as wine or beer, and is between 14 and 18 percent alcohol. Foreigners, especially restaurateurs, fell in love with sake. We go to Tokyo, a city known for its many restaurants, to meet Dominique Boucher, who holds two Michelin stars and has lived between France and Japan for 35 years. For him, sake was a revelation. I compare sake is a bit like a diamond that combines with all the elements that give us the sea. Whether it's seafood, shells, scallops, lobster, fish, etc., even the seaweed. So everything that comes from the sea goes very well, and I think that's what makes it beautiful, charming, and magical for cooks. We prepared a scallop capaccio on a small brunoise of fruits, mangoes and green apple to give acidity but also sweetness. The scallop is cut into thin slices on which a thin layer of jelly with green apple is placed and a few small grains of caviar are added that will bring out a little more of the iodine flavour. Sake has this wonderful dimension that blends with everything that has iodine, everything that comes from the sea. Sake and sea, a natural union that reveals the yamami, the flavor so dear to the Japanese, which means delicious or tasty. An invitation to taste and to travel.